In this example, we have a system of conics uh, where we have to uh, solve, and we're going to solve it graphically. So up here we have a ellipse, and then down here we just have a line. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is graph the ellipse. And to do that, let's start by graphing the center. So our h is uh, going to be right here. It's going to be a, a negative 2, and then we've got comma. Our k is negative 2 as well. So that's going to be our center of the ellipse. Let's go ahead and plot that on our graph. That's going to be right there. Now we have to figure out our vertices. Now uh, we know that a squared is always the bigger of the two denominators. So say if 9 equals a squared, our a has to be equal to 3 because 3 squared is 9. So we're going to count up from this center 1, 2, 3. We're also going to count down 1, 2, 3 because our a is always the value from our center to the vertices. And this is going to be a, uh, a vertical ellipse because the, the bigger number, the higher number, the denominator, which is also a squared, it's under the y. So you know that the ellipse over here is going to be stretched further up and down or, or vertically. So um, our next thing that we're going to do is call out our b and we know that that 4 is equal to b squared. So if we have b squared equaling 4, then our b has to be 2. So from our center, we have to go to the left 2, and then we go to the right 2. So now here's generally like our ellipse. Now I'll, I'll fill in everything else the best I can. I know it's not the best way to do it, but it's about as close as we're going to get. Um, now. Uh, we don't need to uh, plot the foci or anything like that. Let's just plot this line down here. So let's do that in blue. Our y-intercept is 4. So we go up uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's the y-intercept. And then our slope is going to be uh, up 3 over 2. So uh, we could go up 1, 2, 3, and then over 2. That's going to be our line. Um, we could connect these dots and run the line all the way down this way, but just to be accurate, let's uh, count down 3 and then back 2. And that's going to be on our, our line as well. So we could go down 1, 2, 3, and then back 1, 2. That's going to be a part of our line. And then down 1, 2, 3, back 2. So this all works for our line. Now let's connect all these dots. We're going to go down through that point, that's important. Going through that point is also really important and then we'll finish it out like that. Now the solutions to our system right here is wherever the line intersects the ellipse. And you'll see that right there they intersect and that point's gonna be uh, one, two, three, four. So negative four comma uh, down two. So it's gonna be negative four comma negative two. That's one solution. And then up here at this intersection, uh, that's going to be another solution. So let's call out this point. Uh, it's going to be back 2. So our x is going to be negative 2. And then our y, uh, it's up 1. So that's positive 1. So our answer to this system of uh, uh, conic sections, I guess, we got an ellipse and a line, is going to be negative 2, comma 1 and negative 4, comma negative 2. And that's it. You could also use the calculator to, to do this too. There's an intersection tool, but uh, this is how you do it by hand.